Hey, what is going on guys? This is Carlos and today I have something a bit different. I thought I would show you guys how to install a wireless card and show you guys the speed differences between being directly plugged in and having a wireless card on your PC. So I picked up a TP-Link N900 as a wireless card to install on my PC since I didn't want to run a cable all the way upstairs. So let's go ahead and get started. So the TP-Link N900 comes in a green box, nothing fancy. All you really get is the wireless card itself three antennas, a manual, a CD to install the drivers. So what you need to do first is make sure you have a screwdriver so you can take off the screws from your PC and an open PCI Express slot on your motherboard. So power off your PC, take off the side panel and locate that PCI Express slot. It should just be the smallest slot on your PC. You can tell by the way the Wi-Fi card slot looks. Now take out that bracket and line it up with your wireless card on that PCI Express slot and just press it down. That's pretty much it. It's really easy, right? But make sure it's on there all the way in. That's what she said. And then start putting back the screws to hold it in place. Put back the side panel on your PC and start putting on those antennas that came with the card. So that is pretty much the process of installing a wireless card. It's really that simple. Now, to press the power button to see if your PC boots up and doesn't explode. Now for me, I couldn't use the CD that came with the card since I don't have a CD drive on my PC. Instead, Windows 10 recognized the card and installed the default drivers on there for me, so it would just plug and play. My other option would have been to download the drivers from another computer, transfer them to my PC, and install them that way. Good thing Windows 10 installed them by itself. Hopefully it doesn't be his OD on me now. So this Wi-Fi card pretty much recognizes my 5 GHz network and from running the speed test it does pretty well. There's almost no difference between me using an Ethernet cable and being on Wi-Fi for me. Besides one less cable on my PC so it makes for an easier cleaner cable management. But of course this could vary depending on your router model location and how many walls you're running through which could affect your signal strength. Now I can take my PC anywhere with a small monitor and render out videos. Yeah. Yeah right, that's pretty much too heavy to do that. So anyways, this pretty much does it for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and hopefully you learned something new about being wireless instead of being directly plugged in. I think wireless is the better option for me since I won't have to deal with, you know, more messy cables and I don't have to do that much cable management on my PC. Anyways guys, make sure to smack that like button, comment down below and subscribe if you like the content to catch more of my videos like this. And you can also follow me on Twitter at Mobile Carlos and recently on Snapchat, the same thing, Mobile Carlos. Anyways, guys, thanks for watching and I'll catch you guys on the next one. See ya.